It's time to shine the spotlight on dogs who need homes. Kathleen Hunter, founder and executive director of Northwest Canine Coalition, uh, joins us now with Cash, who's a little guy who needs a forever home, and also trainer Angie Burlingame. So tell us about, I've just been getting to know Cash in the last uh, few seconds, high energy dog, super sweet, well behaved. Yeah. And we're talking about a rescue dog that needs a forever home. He, Where he is, does. Where's Cash right now uh, staying? Which shelter? Sure. Uh, Cash is at one of our partner rescue sh shelters, which is Camino Animal Shelter on Camino Island. Okay. So Tell he, us about he made Cash. the road trip all the way down this morning. He is six years old. He has a uh, Catahoula Leopard mm -hmm. mix. And a little uh, fun fact about that is the Catahoulas yeah. are, were bred to hunt wild boar. Really? And they're from Louisiana. I believe it. And this so, is a this is a dog with a drive. But yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Well, blue eye, blue one blue, one blue eye, eye, one brown eye. Yeah. But and like you're saying, he does have a lot of energy, so he needs a family who's going to be active with him. An active family yeah. or an active individual. Active individual. Who, yeah. And he has, he's, you know, a Seahawks dog, so he would love to play, you know, make some touchdowns in your backyard tomorrow and then cuddle up with you to watch the game. So he um, knows some basic cues also. Yes. Or you want to demonstrate I think he's, something? he would be a great candidate for being a restaurant dog. Once really? he learns how to mm -hmm. walk on a loose leash in a really distracting environment and stay calm, you could take him to restaurants, sit down, have your meal, and have him on a downstay just like this. And because, so he's got great potential. And because Cash is so ball-driven, <laughs> there's your reward for the potential for training. Right. Ball-driven and food-driven at all, too? I think he is pretty, uh, a little bit. Mostly, mostly just tennis balls. balls. Mostly tennis, tennis balls. balls. Well, and the football that's like a tennis ball, he loves that one. So yeah. that's Cash's reward, that's reward for doing whatever you want them to, yeah. to do. So, so Angie, you're here to give us a few pointers because I have a rescue dog. Right. And the, I, I know that it would not have been a happy ending for us <laughs> if I had not taken training very seriously. And now everything's perfect because, right. you know, dogs, especially dogs like Cash, uh, which is a working breed, actually. Very much. They're they're bred to be worked and to be trained. So, what can we learn to do with Cash? Yeah, I would definitely get him into some obedience classes so that you can get to know him better. Because mm -hmm. that's a good way to get to know him. The other thing is teaching him how to walk on a loose leash will greatly improve his focus. Right now, he oh. loves sniffing and oh. looking for wild boar. <laughs> I am just getting, and he's wicked smart. There's like a makeout yeah. session here with Cass, and I love it. I love it. So very affectionate too. Not just, Lust. not just ball driven, but you know, because you do want to know that you're going to have this wonderful relationship with a dog and Cash has great potential for that. So yes. on Camano Island is where we They're can on find Camano Island at the Camano Animal Shelter. Um, also keep in mind he might be best to you know be the only dog in the house, no cats. Uh, yeah. Dog savvy kids. Are because good. he's a hunter. He's a hunter. <laughs> yes. he, he I've got a job. dog. That's okay. <laughs> I have a dog like that. I, I understand. Cash. All right, but he's your pet and friend for life. All right, we'll be back with more in just a moment.